Now turn to section 3. Section 3. In this section, you are going to hear a conversation between Anne and Merton. In the first part of the conversation, they are talking about the commands of training dogs. First look at questions 21 to 25. Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 25. So, that research paper we have to do next is the one about different styles of training dogs. How do you think you'll approach writing it? You know, I've been thinking about it and I feel that the best way to write it is to divide the paper into two main parts. In the first part, would be analysing some examples of each style of training dogs. Right. First, what the styles are. After that, we can talk about how each style can be used so that the dogs learn something different from each one. Indeed. Maybe we could draw a chart and compare examples of each style of training, one at a time. So, the different kinds of training would be simple obedience training, there you would have things like teaching them to sit or stay in one place and so on. Right. So included here would be simple audio commands like speak. Yes. Basic commands are just spoken words, aren't they? And then there would be the more guard-oriented training where the dogs are trained to know a specific place well. Patrolling and barking are probably the best examples because most people have seen them in many places, especially in homes. And this would lead us to the attack dog training, which is physical as well as spoken. Training the dog to knock someone down, and even bite if they have to. Right. So there's another category as well. Sniffing dogs, which make up the searching category. I've read that in the UK, Every major airport or government building has these dogs to search for all kinds of dangerous items. In the second part of the conversation, Anne and Merton talk about all kinds of training and what kind of dog they are suitable for. You will have another chance to look at questions 26 to 30. Listen carefully and answer questions 26 to 30. I can believe that. Well, we have a good list to build on. We're finally getting started now. So let's try to figure out when each type of dog training should be used. I guess we can start by trying to figure out the best situation for each type of dog training. Hmm, what do you mean? What I mean is whether each type of training should be used with different kinds of dogs. We could use basic obedience training, for example, and ask whether it's more useful for a small dog, a medium-sized dog, and so on. In this case, I'd say obedience training is best with small dogs because they tend to get excited easily and this will help keep them out of trouble. OK, that makes sense. Then, let's look at physical training. Even though some people think it's ideal for every breed of dog, I think it's better suited to the larger kinds. Small dogs usually just aren't smart enough to understand the physical commands and they can even get hurt from them. The specialised sniffing training is the same. I think it's better with the more intelligent breeds of dogs and it's hardly ever useful with really small dogs. Attack training, however, can be useful for every kind of large dog as long as the dog is treated well and given a lot of attention and care. All right. And what about guard training? Barking is an ideal way for small dogs to guard a home. 
I know they aren't big enough to stop a person, but making some noise is often all a dog needs to do. Other kinds of guard training, like biting, though, are different. I'd always plan to teach that to a smart dog, giving them a chance to use their brains and defend their homes. I'd have to agree. Trainers often just teach large dogs to bark at a person when they think something isn't right. But if the dogs know how to use physical skills in a bad situation, they could save their owner's life some day. Yes, I suppose that different people would have different needs for their pets. Right, and different trainers would recommend different methods for different breeds. That is the end of section three. You will now have half a minute to check your answers.